Hey guys, back again with another custom ROM video. And on this video, I will be reviewing Superman ROM that I previously installed on my Galaxy S7. And this will also work on Galaxy S7 Edge. Alright, so before we start, this ROM only works on the S7 and S7 Edge international version and dual SIM version. So some of people that have Snapdragon device will not work. So I use this device as my daily drivers ever since I installed ROM. On this ROM installation process is really easy and straightforward. Just remember to wipe the firmware and backup before you do the install and just follow my guide on my video link down below or on the eye icon on the top right corner to see how to install this ROM. Alright. So on this ROM this running on Android 7.0 Nougat with the touch with launchers and Samsung theme and this ROM is mainly about deploading the Samsung device so they removed all of useless app and unnecessary program and settings to improve your performance so as you see I put on the custom theme and custom icon look and by the way I'm using the S8 launcher so if you want to see a video how to install this launcher comment down below maybe I will make a video about it alright and also this ROM added edge features for the normal flat variant for Galaxy S7 so if you have seen using Galaxy S7 like me you will have the extra edge features like Galaxy S7 edge so that is a plus for that. On this ROM, they added a lot of cool features such as Root and the Superman updater and Superman custom settings. As I said, this allows you to update the custom ROM and add a lot of customization to your device. You can change a lot of stuff from battery settings, the icon, status bar look a lot of stuff you can do you can change your rock screen and add in more stuff on your rock screen you can like unlock your device without waking up your phone screen there's a lot of stuff you can do you can go through this by yourself when you install but as I said it's not as good as the other fully customizable ROM like exposed frameworks so you're not allowing to do as much as you want it they give plenty of stuff to work with and play around but not enough and most of it just don't even useful at all just like the clocks app that they gave us it just like the design and the look it's just not good at all so other people might like me might prefer the stock look and the normal clock style it's just as, as it is it's not beautiful to use so yes moving to the next stuff So you might see that I disable a lot of apps, that is the battery app that they gave us and it's not even useful as I said so I disable it. And there is another app, the Dolby Atmos app that I installed and feel like yeah it might work but actually it sucks. So I don't want to say this but it don't work at all. When I trying to use it the audio just like peak the volume up and down, when I trying to listen to music the audio suddenly like go so loud and then so quiet so it's not even work. So I'll I recommend you don't install this while on the installing page. Alright. And this is a magic manager that allows you to hide root from a lot of games like Pokemon Go and apps like Snapchat that check you for root all the time. So here so this works as a super user that allow to grant access to root and allow you to install some uh, uh, mod some mod and some flashable fly files so i think this is cool so when you install i recommend you to install magic managers with root so it's gonna work so well with it another thing that i install is a dual speaker mod which is really important and i feel like i addicted to this mod ever since they released on marshmallow so this allows you to use the earpiece 
speakers as your additional speaker while you using media, listening to music in YouTube and watching video. So it's really helpful. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So right now on the new Git version, they only had one levels of audio. I don't know how high is that, but it worked and loud enough for me to hear clearly. But on the previous much mellow version, they had the three levels of volumes i don't know how different it is but i installed a third version and and a long term use i feel like it's gonna destroy my speakers but i think that by the time it destroys your speaker you will change your phone anyway so i feel like yeah just install it anyway it's improved your experience with videos a lot so i recommend you if you're interested to see a video how to install this mod comment down below all right I might make a video soon. So on this part, I will show you how audio works. So I'm gonna put the microphone near the the earpiece first so to hear that how audio change. Now let's move to the normal speakers. You might not hear the differences, but they output the audio from both speakers and when you're watching video without headphones, it's really creating a rich sound, which I can't explain in, in this video, so you're gonna try it yourself. Okay, up next, I'm using the R22 benchmark, I don't know how to pronounce that, to see how much it performs with a benchmark. And reminder, I forgot to clear the app. Like I, I usually don't clear any app at all, so it really impact the benchmarks. But I feel like if you clear the app and do the benchmark again, the result will be like significantly improved. But I want to see that how it perform while a lot of heavy usage through time. So this is the benchmark. As you see from the result, it's a little bit lower than stock ROM, but far, by far I see the other people try benchmark with this ROM. Usually it's be like around the same as the stock ROM. So it depends on if you clear the app, if you have a lot of background running app or something. But like for the overview, they don't have any much different. So it's smooth and work great and nothing really different as I said from the stock room. All right, for the battery, as uh, I'm gonna say that I don't have any real answer for this. I feel like battery is great. It's running around all day, working all day with normal light usage. So I'm turning on Wi-Fi and the uh, LTE internet connection all the time, network connection and if standby, you can stay all day from the morning, like around 8, 7 to 8 to like 5 p.m. around that. And if you heavily use it playing games and watch YouTube around 2 or 3 hours, which I feel like is okay for normal phone. So I didn't mind. And there's something that I don't understand what's really going on with this ROM or with my phone. So sometimes it's hot, hotter than usual, but it's not a burn. And then after that, it's gonna the cool down and everything is normal. I feel like it might be the signal problem, but I don't really sure. So if anyone experienced this, comment down below as well. But I think that that is not a huge problem because it's just like temporarily small amount of time and then everything is normal. Sometimes impact a little bit of battery. Yes, coming to gaming. Everything is great. 2D gaming, everything fine. Everything smooth runs smoothly. Sometimes they had a shutter lag as you see. A small shutter lag once in a while for only for the 3D games like this game. But sometimes the heavy game like Asphalt and the shooting game, FPS game. I don't know why it just runs so smooth. So it depends on the game and I feel like this is a problem with the lab management. So it's not about the games issue I think it's sometimes it's lamp management as I said I always forgot to create the lamp clear, clear the lamp memory so 
I think that is the problem. And also, the battery while playing games, heavy game that using a lot of graphics and the GPS, just as Pokemon Go or when you switch between apps, it's getting hot. A little bit hot, as, as I said on the previous topic. It's getting a little bit hot, but I feel like that is not trouble because at least you know that the phone getting hot for which reason so when you feel like the phone is starting to get too hot just lock and stand by clear the app lock and stand by and wait for a bit and then the phone will cool down because you are using too much <laughs> at the time so just take a break so bugs i don't know if there is any bugs because usually the thing that's happen like the phone getting hot or shutter lag usually happen with me with the stock ROM already so I feel like they don't have any much different and the smoothest and everything I think it's really smoother from the time being at the beginning but it's not really impacts a lot of like a lot of change into the phone so as I said as you see here the phone will not able to update to the stock ROM anymore so you need to update by Superman updater which is updating to their Superman custom ROM. So if you wish to go back to stop ROM, you need to use the Odin installers and flash it by yourself. That is another topic to talk. If you are interested to see, comment down below. And there is another box. Not really a box because it's a camera problem, which is the app issue. So if you intended to install S8 camera app, listen here right now. Some of the features don't work, just like the lens features, which is just like Snapchat that allow you to have like a cute little animation face and ears and dog face, something like that will not work. And also the video stabilizer, the software video stabilizers have a weird jelly effects. I don't know that it's normal or not, but sometimes it's just like really bad. It's like, like it's glitch, it's glitching out. Sometimes when you like trying to record and run so bad like shaking a lot It will not gonna work so I recommend you just turn off that video stabilizer stabilization effect Okay, I'm back so I go through my phone just to find footage where this glitch happened and Just take a look Right here you see you see that glitch Did you saw it let me play it slowly for you so you see right here you see it's just a small problem that give me a concern. So if you want Galaxy S8 camera app, just think carefully before you install. I recommend you don't use it, just use normal one. Better. It's more stable in every way. For the overall experience, everything great. This ROM is for the Samsung UI lover who loves custom themes, Samsung features and touch with UI look. If you don't want that, you can just install a custom third party launchers if you want it. But if you just like me who really love the core features of the Samsung device, you can stick with this Super ROM, Superman ROM. And this another plus features is that you allow to install root and mod in one go so if before you want to install the ROM as I said you have a option to install root install a lot of mod and stuff which is great because I love to custom my phone and extra tweaking app extra settings and this ROM make a clean version of just which UI and another thing is with the sensor so all the sensor for this phone work great nothing ever creating an issue for me so I don't notice any huge bugs or problems I gonna say that I recommend this ROM for people to use as dairy drivers who want root and some more customization to your already own stock ROM okay I think that's about it for this Superman ROM revealed don't forget to share and subscribe any questions ask me in the comments down below any extra thing you want me to do or covers on this rom or another features like mod how to install stuff ask me down below i might make a video soon so don't forget to share like subscribe see you guys later on the next video bye